I'm David Plunk. I'm the athletic director and the head football coach at Hallsville High School. Hallsville is a school in East Texas, a 5A school, a student body of about 1,450 students. Everybody wants a scoreboard. Everybody wants an upgrade to your stadium. The, the obvious question is financing. How do you fund something like that? And we felt like, you know, we can do this. We can raise this much money. We can do it. And we, we can do it through private funds and through sponsorships. What this did, it allowed people to have a, a productive way to advertise in the town. I wanted the best product. And I wanted a company that I knew, not just a company that was out there. I wanted a company that I knew, a company that was going to stand behind their product. My name is Kerry Crump. I'm the vice president of the Hallsville uh, Athletic Booster Club. Uh, I have a son who plays uh, football for Hallsville and have a daughter that's a cheerleader. And actually, uh, my wife is an eighth grade teacher here in Hallsville. We had an old analog board that was, uh, uh, it was old and in disrepair. We needed a new board. And so basically I got out uh, really on the internet and started doing some research at, as to alternatives. Uh, you know, there had to be something else out there. And I believe I made contact with Todd Heller uh, with Formetco and, and was very impressed. Todd was very gregarious, uh, was interested in, uh, in, in what we were doing and started getting numbers and, uh, and, and really kind of started the process with Todd on Formetco. And before I'm willing to step off and put my name behind it, I've got to feel good about the company. I've got to uh, see what the product looks like and I have to feel good about the product before I bring it into our town. When Blake came here, uh, to meet with us. I think that was really a, a, a turning point in the process with Formetco. I was impressed with the research he had put into to our project. I was impressed with the amount of knowledge that not only he had, but the people back in Atlanta had. And I said, okay, you've got my ear, you've got my interest, now let's talk. I left early one morning, flew to Atlanta, spent about five hours in Atlanta visiting with basically the whole company from sound production to uh, video production to the install to the vice president of the company. The sense I got is I was dealing with a group of people that knew their business and knew what they wanted and was going to stand behind it. And they sold me on the fact that they were a long-term player and they were going to be legitimate in this business for a long time. You know, we still had several steps before we were able to get the scoreboard in. And the question at that point was, do we try to put it in for the upcoming football season or do we hold the project off until after football season so we could have it for the next year? Can we get this uh, approved? Can we get, take the proper steps for financing? And once we do get the financing, can we get the scoreboard in the ground and ready for the current season? And it was like clockwork. It worked perfectly uh, for Medco worked with us. Uh, once we got everything approved, they had the board down here. Before the first game, we had it up and running and ready to go. The install crew did a tremendous job. The guys worked in the rain. Uh, they never checked up. We were under a time crunch deadline for Metco. They did everything they said they would do. And, and I just can't sing the praises enough for Metco for getting done what they said they would do. And I think it's rare in the business world now that you can have a project of this size and the company promises and then delivers everything they said they were going to do. And, and, and they really did. And it's been a good product for us. From day one, step one, they were here to train us. Uh, they came down to train us once the board was in. They made sure that they were here for our first sub-varsity game. They had uh, representatives from the company here. When we had our first Friday night game, they had people here making sure it was going to be run and run right. And even uh, up until now, anytime I have a question, I have a number, when I call that number, that's always answered. And within uh, 30 minutes to an hour, whatever question I have, it's always corrected we realized that there were additional things that were beneficial to having that board and some of that was having students working the board uh, with our career technology students uh, getting a chance to work in the board. Uh, we were able to uh, show the band on the board. They were involved in it. Uh, our drill team, uh, we put them on the board. We showed fans uh, in, the, in the stadium on the board and it made for more interactive game experience and it made for a better game experience we thought. As important to the scoreboard was having a new sound system with inside the stadium and I think that did as much to add to the atmosphere of the game as the scoreboard. Uh, Formetco has exceeded our expectations. You need to look at Formetco. They're a quality company, they put a quality scoreboard, but just the quality, the price, uh, I will tell anybody and um, I do mean this, I would put my name behind that. <laughs>